Yep. Hi guys, this is Ed from Ponderific, your Water Garden Project Review Guide. Hey, today I'm out at uh, one of our maintenance projects out in uh, Moreno Valley, California, where what we're doing today is we've actually replaced a sensor for an automatic water leveling system. This is called a leveler water level system. And what it does is it's got a sensor in the pond that I'm going to show you in a second. And this is actually the control module for this system. What it does is when water fails to make continuity here, it tells the system that it needs water. It'll fill the pond until the pond reaches a point that it makes contact. Water is a polar molecule. It'll establish continuity between these two probes, okay? So what we've done is we just changed and put a new sensor in the system today. When we came in and we've already run it, we've done it, we've done a checkout. Well, how this actually works, coming through. How this actually works is right next to me down below here is a small irrigation anti-siphon valve. When the system thinks that it needs water, it sends 24 volts out to the controller. So you run your wiring to this unit. The sensor wiring is also actually passing through here, and here's the wires right here. When the system needs water, the sensor tells that control module to turn on 24 volts right here. Okay. Then this allows water to pass through here, and let's look at the standpipe that has water inside of the skimmer. When it needs water, water comes in through this line right here. And it'll add water right into through that line right into the skimmer. And rather than putting a typical float valve that sits inside of your skimmer, do you notice how water is higher on one side than the other? A typical float valve will sit inside of your skimmer and it'll add water and it'll overflow the pond. So what this system does is our, our sensor is located inside of a pipe right next to it, right here. The sensor currently right now is is got plenty of water in here, so it's not adding. When the water level drops down below this, it's going to make it a signal path back to the controller, turn on the anti-siphon valve, and it'll actually fill. So this can't be interrupted and obstructed because it's protected. That's all I got for you. Ed Brown, your Water Garden Project Review Guy Ponderific. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye-bye.